So basically for this floor pillow, you're gonna need one meter of fabric or one yard. I chose the fabric on the left. You need a pair of scissors. You also need some filling for the floor pillow. I chose the foam on the right and not the bean bag filler. That's another project. You're probably gonna want some wine too, if you're like me. <laughs> All right, so now basically I'm laying out the fabric on the floor and this fabric is cotton fabric. It has some stretch, but not a lot of it. Um, and now I'm basically gonna cut out two squares that are 25 by 25 inches long. So each side is gonna be 25 inches long and I'm just measuring it right now. When you get done with your first square, just start on the second one. So now you should have your two squares. So now with this extra piece of fabric, I am going to cut out four rectangular pieces that are 26 inches long and six inches wide. These are going to be for the sides of the floor pillow. I also left a half an inch of seam allowance on each side. I need four pieces, so I'm just trying to make it work with the fabric that I have left. Um, one yard of fabric, if honestly, if you don't really make any mistakes, should be enough. You know, so you just, just try to make it work. So now this is what your four pieces should look like. Now you're gonna go to your sewing machine and basically lay the pieces on top of each other like I did in the video and sew along the edge. And it should look like that. Once you do that, just continue to do that. So choose another side and do the same exact thing, lay it on top and then sew along the edge. You're basically gonna wanna make a large square out of this. And once you get to the last piece, just combine them together the same exact way you did the other pieces. This is what your square should look like after you've sewn all the side pieces together. So now what you're going to do is match the sides together, the corners together of the side pieces that you sew together and one of the squares. Um, this is basically creating either the top or the bottom of the floor pillow. You don't have to add pins here, but I added pins here just because that made it easier to sew it together. And I'm basically just matching up the corner so it's easier to sew on my sewing machine. And make sure the right sides of the fabric are together. Yeah. 
This is just a close up of how I pin the corners together. And I pinned each corner together just because that made it easier for me. You don't technically have to do this, but it, I mean, I think it's easier. And this is how it looks with all the corners pinned together. So after you sew all the sides together, that's basically what it should look like. Now you're gonna take the last square and do the same exact thing. Make sure the right sides are together. So the top of the fabric that actually has the pattern, make sure that is what you're connecting it to on the ends. That doesn't make sense. Okay, make sure the right sides are together. I'm gonna just leave it at that. So basically I'm doing the same exact thing that I did before where I'm pinning the sides together and then I'm gonna do that for each side and then sew it. When you get to the last side, make sure you leave a small opening enough to basically fit your hand in there at least so you can fill the pillow with foam. So when you get done sewing all the sides, turn the floor pillow inside out. I'm basically going inside of the floor pillow to Kind of like push all the corners out so when i put the foam in there it like gets everywhere if that makes sense so this part was kind of tricky um i didn't have a funnel which i i guess i sort of kind of recommend a funnel i just kind of made it work i started to do it by hand i was taking too long and it was pretty annoying because the foam like got everywhere then I went and got this box to try and use it as a funnel, and that also didn't really work out. So then I decided to just squeeze the fat bag inside of that hole and basically break the bag up on the inside and like pull the plastic out after the entire bag was like broken, if that makes sense. And voila, all the foam's in there. So I basically did the same exact thing with this one too. Honestly, I don't recommend a specific way to like get the bag in there. I just kind of made it work. So like if you have a better way, then you know, do it the better way. This is me basically fluffing it out and making sure the foam spreads out the way that I want. And now I'm doing the same thing, kind of like fluffing it out and seeing if I wanted it this thick. And I did. 
so three bags worked for me and you can use like less bags if you want but for me three was the perfect amount so now to close up the hole i got some needle and thread and because this isn't like a super professional floor pillow i just kind of like sewed it up any kind of way that worked for me So now I'm testing it to see if it's exactly what I want, if I can get all zenny with it, and I can. Here, I use um, very thin thread, like basic thread that people use for clothes to make the little tufted holes or whatever you want to call it. But I noticed that that thread um, wasn't really working for me because it was like, it was too thin and like the hole wasn't um, like deep enough. So I went and got some weaving thread, girl. So I actually use a weaving um, needle too. And the weaving thread is like just so much thicker. Like this is what I use to like make wigs and stuff. And um, I love, I just love how much thicker it was than the actual um, clothing thread. So basically my method here is sticking the needle through um, all the way to the other side and then flipping it over and doing, doing the same exact thing. So sticking it through to the other side, flipping it over, sticking it through to the other side, flipping it over. And like, just make a knot however you make knots. Like I don't have any special way to do it. I kind of like just went under the part that was threaded already until it knotted up. It did exactly what I needed it to do after like five or six times of going through. So now this is me pretending to measure it out. Um, I just kind of like found a spot and then did the same exact thing that I did in the middle where I stuck the needle through all the way to the other side and then I flipped it over and did the same thing. Now you can measure it if you want. I didn't really care because like, you know, it's not like I'm selling this. So like, this is just for the house. So I just kind of like chose a spot and then did the whole process. And there you have it. Your floor pillow should be done now. I really like how fluffy it is. That foam that I bought, I'm gonna link it in the bio. I love how it fluffs up and um, it's pretty comfy. So I didn't film this part, but I found these little rhinestones that I had and I used some super glue to put all of the rhinestones and all of the little tufted parts and it really came out cute. 